I so see for myself there's nothing more fun and, yeah, fun, <laughs> than allowing myself to be as I am and knowing what I can rely on in every moment. Um, seeing that there's a total clarity and stability available to me in every single moment as mind, as my mind, as my intelligence itself, fundamentally. It's always been the case, and it will continue to be so, and it is right now, that my power to know is on, awareness on, open intelligence right here. And in that moment of stopping thinking that we had before, we can have that again, we just prove that to ourselves. Oh. Right, there it is. Bright, open intelligence on and the thoughts and emotions of the data streams they're they're there they're there too <laughs> and they're completely inseparable indivisible all experience known through intelligence through open intelligence resting already naturally in its place and no effort needed to make the next thought or emotion arise or for it to resolve on its own like a flight path of a bird in the sky or like a knot in a snake. And everything naturally undoing itself. And what I have taken and learned about myself and that I needed to do in order to just be a good person, just be okay, that too, dispersing like mist in the air or, or mist in the noonday sun on its own. Completely natural, wholly natural. And brightness, bright intelligence always on. Sweeping up everyone <laughs> and everything, me included. And this recognition of, of what's most fundamental and shared by everyone I see for myself brings about um, such profound soothing and such recognition of my own power and freedom to be, freedom to think, however that might be, to feel, to wake up in the morning with any mood whatsoever. <laughs> and no struggle, giving up the struggle to... to wrestle this mind into a certain way of being. Like, what is that anyway? <laughs> you know, and all this um, expending of energy and focus in order to just have the correct thoughts and feelings. And then to, for that to inform my body and how I move and what I do and how I act. And then reading the responses from others. Was that right or should I be a bit more like that? Or, is, you know, like, I mean, it's... It, to, you know, an exaggeration, but actually what was going on. Just wanting to be liked. <laughs> Just to feel okay. There are the steps that you get the right responses, and then, okay, I'm doing all right. Okay, the thoughts are okay. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, check, good, relax. So instead of the balance you training, we go straight to the relaxation. It's really good. <laughs> directly to the relaxation, completely relax as you are. Relish and enjoy this moment in its completeness as it is the total brightness, the freshness of the here and now, regardless of what's appearing, including everything that's appearing. The complete embrace. With all reality, our intelligence, vast like sky, no limit, no, no limit that anyone could draw. And it's a choice in every single moment for us to acknowledge that. And that's what the short moments are. We simply relax mind as its naturalness, as it is. And this, um, and allowing the current data stream just to do what it does. Now, this practice takes practice. <laughs> and, um, you know, I see for myself in the beginning, I came to an open meeting and I was... I received the introduction, it was like, well, I, I get that. There was something instinctive I got, but it, then I had, you know, my life and my belief systems and all my thoughts and my way of using my mind that I was very used to. And so it was, um, 
you know, continued thinking about myself. Then I would probably continue thinking about the balance you training. That was what I was going. Okay, there's this open intelligence. Okay, someone, you know, there's this trainer. What is it? There's all these people. They look really comfortable. Uh, 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 uh. What? How do I fit in? Me with my little, you know, individual. How do I slot into this as a thing? Of, and um. And that's all brilliant too, but more and more I showed up, just showing up naturally and being very curious about the benefits, about short moments. How is it when I apply this in my life? What are the results? And unavoidably seeing the results in the people that were around me and finding that so magnetizing. And, um, and more and more growing in trust and becoming more used to recognizing open intelligence. So, you know, like um, every, and in the beginning, I've definitely found it easier to recognize open intelligence in certain circumstances than others. And being at an open meeting was one where I found it more easy to recognize open intelligence or listening to one of the talks and hearing a trainer share their experience or another participant or hanging out with other people relying on open intelligence. It just, just was easeful. It was like effortless. And, and then being you know, back in my sort of daily life and doing what I was doing, I remembered to take short moments more in when I felt, say, tension or anxiety. That would be like my or worry or something like this. I found Okay, because you, you bet I so wanted relief. <laughs> I so wanted relief and I wanted solutions. And I, so I started to apply short moments, especially in worry. That was like a really good one. It's like mind whirring. Uh, I'll take a short moment here. It was like my trigger. It was like my reminder to recognize open intelligence. It's a great gift. <laughs> negative data streams that I'd always thought were so wrong. They were the ones that reminded me to rest as open intelligence. Brilliant. And, um, and so more and more there, simultaneous to all of the thoughts about a situation and a feeling of tension in the body, simultaneous to that recognizing open intelligence, shining brightly, brightness of mind on, inseparable from that thought, feeling, sensation. And seeing that it was also the next moment, the next thought or sensation would come along. Maybe the other one comes back. It's like constantly changing, unpredictable, ceaseless, continuous flow of mind. And I, you, you, I saw I just got more and more used to, that's what it's becoming more and more used to, this incredible flow of mind, of experience, of everything. I don't know what we're going to think next. I know what I just thought about a minute ago, should I tell you? It's about that carrot cake in the corner. Because <laughs> it's, it's, did you see the sign? You walk past, it's like rich, what is it? Rich, dense. <laughs> Honestly, I tell you, I'm going to have a bit of that afterwards. Um, you know, so you don't know where it's going to go, what's going to come up, and, and it could, you know, but what is the most amazing cause for celebration is this like mind training brain washing that we've had about positive and negative <laughs> just starts to relax into itself stops being this sort of like you know I want to say front man no front man or woman <laughs> but just like right there in our face about how we're meant to be this sort of straight jacket of like mind and conduct starts to relax and we relax in it for ourselves and for all like it needs to come to an end of like thinking there's something wrong with our mind. And, and not just for ourselves, but for everyone. We see the limitations of it. We hit against that wall again and again as, you know, not just in ourselves, but as a like, global society. And these beliefs about ourselves of separation and difference and people being like, you know, good and bad and everything needs to happen. We, we rest there at the basis as open intelligence and what unites everybody instinctively with no effort and all data streams together. The inherent peace, stability, wisdom, clear seeing, open heartedness, natural love that's available for everyone. And that's what I see the results of the four mainstays are, the support system of balanced view that 
these qualities just start to flourish more in my own experience. And not as something that's about me, but really inherent to everyone and seeing it more and more in everybody. Then the more, as I rest with my own negative morning data <laughs> or negative data at all, the more I can be in relationship with, with everyone, with anyone who's experiencing that. What a precious gift. <laughs> you know, no longer seeing it as the, this sort of dirt ball that needs to be ignored and avoided, which it was before for me, at all costs, not to feel negative. And it's so unreal. It's so weird, actually. And, and relying on open intelligence, we discover firstly there's a capacity to allow all experience to be as it is, and then actually this incredible relationship with all experience, with all data streams where we start to honor their pure wisdom, their benefit power, their benefit essence, which is at the heart of it. Always there, it's never gone anywhere. And then being in the world and being, what can we do? <laughs> when we're not limited anymore by these ideas that we've taken to be true, but it's really like a wide, vast, open realm of reality, of being, of teeming what what do you want to do yeah <laughs> you know like and and there's and what i see there too with money it's brilliant there's always solutions and and with the focus on what's of greatest benefit to all there's always solutions and that's what's naturally the result of of the recognition of open intelligence because that's what it is it's the benefit of all it's um it's what unites us all it's this brightness of intelligence that's on for all. And, um, you know, just like the, the tree swaying there and the wind just effortlessly, effortlessly being so natural. So is our mind, simply as that. And the, the resources and training of Balanced View, the offering of Balanced View is just like, yeah, incredible. <laughs> And I'm so grateful for my openness to it, basically. I came to an open meeting and I continued on because I see the flourishing and also my capacity to be of benefit in the world that just grows and grows and a real passion for that. And no longer wa and wanting myself or anyone to be limited by old ideas about being human and that we can come together really powerfully like as a global community. And it's needed now where these, these belief systems about the difference and nation states and what divides us, they, they fade, they're outshone like the, like the sun rising like the, and the planets and stars being outshone by the sun.